welcome to Personal Finance with Darcy. I am so excited to have you here with me today. So today I'm gonna to talk about the best online tax services for small businesses. And so you might be wondering, who is this girl? Well, yes, I am Darcy, I am a recent business owner, and yeah, it definitely has its ups and downs, but yeah, it's tax time. It's April and we have to file our taxes by May 17th. Fortunately, we got an extra month and a few more days to file our taxes. But yeah, it's important, especially for small businesses. Mine is very, very new. Haven't done too much within the business, but whether you've done a lot in the business or very little, you still have to prepare a taxes for it. So yes, I'm more than happy to go into that today. Taxes is literally like the huge elephant in the room. It causes stress, it causes denial, it causes pain. Literally, I'm just like, why did I decide to do all of these things to make money? Because now my taxes is complicated, but no, it's worth it. It is by far worth it. I remember 2019, I was living the easy life. I just had a W-2 to worry about. But now in 2020, I got short-term capital gains. I got 401k to Roth IRA conversions. I got my schedule C's to worry about. I got a lot going on. My taxes is complicated. And so because of all of that, did I mention a business <laughs> within all of that I just mentioned earlier? Yes, so it's it's very complicated. There's a lot going on. And because of that, because of my hustle, because of my desire to do more in 2020, my tax list as well will be complicated. And so I don't wanna stop your drive. I don't wanna stop your hustle. But yes, there are more responsibilities as it relates to tax ads. And so today I'm really gonna cover the online tax softwares available to you. I'm gonna talk about the top dogs, I'm gonna talk about TurboTax, I'm gonna talk about H&R Block, definitely you've probably heard of those. I am gonna go into the pricing model and cover a little bit about them and where they rank the top within the category. So some platforms are best for complex businesses, some are best for small businesses, and some are best for budget-friendly businesses. Definitely I'm going to cover it all today. I'm not so much gonna go in depth, but I am gonna cover where these tax software platforms do are rank the best. And so it's important to know which one ranks the best in each individual category and kind of go from there, you know? Like, again, taxes is complicated. I am right there with you, I'm struggling with you, but we are gonna get it done. We are gonna get those tax credits. We're gonna get those tax deductions. We're gonna maximize. We are going to hopefully get money back and get a tax refund, which is what we want, yes. Or to pay as little taxes as possible, who does not? So I'm gonna kind of break down my experiences just to give you kind of an insight. I shared my tax situation with TurboTax and they were literally like, I cannot help you. So definitely that is kind of an insight. I definitely know that there's a lot about TurboTax, good stuff, good stuff, but again, really when it comes down to these online tax software platforms, it's really important to know, like, do I have my ducks in a row? Do I have all of the numbers in line? Do I have my income? Do I have my expenses? Do I have everything in order for my business that I need to have? Do I have my personal income in order? Do I have my short-term gains, my long-term gains? If you have investments, which hopefully you do, if you have a business, hopefully you do have investments as well as that is a top generator of wealth. And I definitely want you to have investments and so literally it's just it's very complex the tax situation and so really wanted to go into it today but before I do so don't forget to like and subscribe and I want you to know I'm not a tax professional I'm just like you trying to grow and build a business and so what that looks like it's pretty complicated as it relates to taxes and so because of all of that, I just wanted to share my knowledge, my research that I've kind of uncovered throughout my search and share it with you all because the more you know, the better prepared you are and hopefully the more tax refunds, the tax savings that you can get. Because as you know, the large businesses, not gonna name the names, but they pay very little taxes. And so you're like, how are they doing it? They have really good tax professionals working for them around the clock. But definitely you deserve that too. As a small business, you deserve someone who's going to represent you, fight for you and try to give you as much money in your pocket or to keep as much money in your pocket as you possibly can. So let's get into it and don't forget to like and subscribe below. So I am on business.org and so here we have a list of the best tax softwares for small businesses in 2021. So it's so, so important to look at this. So best overall, we have TurboTax. As you know, TurboTax is really, really popular. If you've seen any commercial for taxes, you've probably seen TurboTax. And so they have a lot to offer. They do have a really good questionnaire that 
that gives you a tailored, tailored, tailored experience and so really walks you through the different questions that are associated with your business and how to find tax credits and also tax deductions. And so it's really, really crucial to really have your information in line. And so the more reduced price that you want to pay for your taxes, the more you need to be the expert and know more information about your, like your overall business. You know, it's really important to know your business inside and out. And then when it comes to taxes, you also need to know what kind of forms you need to file. You know, for me personally, I have a single member LLC. And because of that, I need to file a Schedule C and attach that to my 1040, you know? And so Typically, based off the kind of business you have, it'll determine whether it'll be in a scheduled form in addition to your 1040 or it'll be a completely separate tax form, you know? And so I know that I need to file a Schedule C based off my business. And so definitely it's really, really crucial to know what kind of forms that you will need to file before you even go in and choosing tax software. And so truly speaking, I needed, needed to get my tax forms in order. I need to know what forms to look out for. I need to look up tax credits. I need to look up tax deductions. I know that personally, although I had a lot going on, I had significantly less income than when I just had an easy W-2. As you probably know, when starting a small business, definitely from the ground it's, it's hard. It's hard, hard work, and you're not going to see monetary results right away. It takes time, typically, in a lot of businesses. And so I'm at that ground level work where I had to form the LLC, and now I'm just having to grow and develop it. And so really based off where your business is and what kind of business you have, whether that's an LLC or a corporation, that will influence the tax forms that you need to file. But it's crucial that before you even choose a tax software, you need to know the forms that you need to file. So if a CPA or a tax preparer is like, oh, you need to file this form, you're like, hmm, are you sure? Because definitely it's really good to come to the table prepared and know what you're talking about. And so here we have the best overall TurboTax. So in general, as it relates to small businesses, they say TurboTax, if you're going to do an online software, TurboTax is the way to go. And it says most reliable guarantees, most perks and features. And so if you want to see some reviews, you can definitely click within that. But definitely TurboTax comes highly rated. And as it relates to their prices, we have TurboTax. I'm pulling this up now. So for being a self, being self-employed, typically it starts at $120 federal and $50 per state. And so when I say $120 federal, that's definitely baseline. So definitely if you have a complex situation like myself, I'm not gonna be paying 120 for my taxes. And so definitely the 120 is a baseline. So you know, okay, I'm gonna pay $120 or more and then $50 for state per state, right? And so the ranking of course was best overall for Tobo tax. And then we have H&R Block. So if your business is very complex or if your, your personal situation and your business is complex, then H&R Block is ranked as the best. And so for me personally, I didn't want to go with uh, H&R Block because I was like, I don't think they, they are really going to try to find me cost savings. I think that they are professionals. But again, are they CPAs? Not really. I think that it, it definitely depends on what H&R Block that you go to if you decide to go to a physical branch. But I didn't feel like through talking to H&R representatives that they are really going to find me really good tax savings for my business. Like, yes, they're going to make sure it was done correctly, just like TurboTax, but where are they going to go above and beyond? I didn't get that from them, but H&R Block is rated as the best for complex businesses. And so what's really nice about H&R Block is that they do have physical branches. So let's say you are doing your taxes online for your small business and you're like, oh shoot, I'm in trouble. I have no clue what I'm doing or I, I'm, I'm, I'm lost, I'm confused, and I, I definitely want to make sure I'm doing this right because I do not want to get audited. And so definitely that's really, really important. And so what h and Block does have is free audit representation, and that's definitely crucial. So if the IRS decides to go after you, it's really important to have representation. Somebody's going to give you the information you need to know and actually represent you, not just give you information, but represent you if they do come after you. And that's nice to have that included. And so, yeah, I, again, an additional perk of having some accounting software, knowing the ins and outs about your business and having that additional help is great. And so H&R Block, this is really good, again, for complex businesses, is ranked number one. And so as the pricing goes for H&R Block, it says 
$109.99 for federal and $44.99 for state. And as you see, H&R Block is cheaper than TurboTax. Definitely, I was reading articles and reviews, TurboTax definitely wants to charge you. And so while they'll have that like minimum, like this is how much it costs, they will definitely upcharge you if they see it's more complicated. And so I, just for a clear example, I was at this restaurant that was like a Chipotle knockoff. And so the prices were really, really cheap. But if you added some ingredients, and it costs more and more money. And so when I go to Chipotle, I kind of go ham. I want everything within my burrito and it doesn't cost additional because it's just like I can choose anything versus this other place. Any little extra ingredient that you wanted, they would charge you a dollar, a dollar fifty, and it definitely added up and it wind up being more than Chipotle based off what I wanted. And so definitely TurboTax, H&R Block, they have these minimum like this is the lowest you'll pay, but likely you're going to pay more for that the more complex it is. And so just kind of wanted to give you that example. But yeah, H&R Block, $109.99 for federal plus the $44.99 for state. It's really important to look at the state fees, especially if your business is in multiple different states. And so you do have to consider that when filing your taxes. And so let's go back to Liberty Tax. So Liberty Tax is best for beginners. So if you have no clue about taxes, definitely they say Liberty Tax is really good. They have tax education courses. And so from what I saw, they had very basic level taxes. It was like taxes 101, like kind of how to file personal taxes. It didn't look like they had too much on the business taxes side because it is very unique and complex based off the business that you have but they do have tax education courses. And like I said, if you do have a small business, it's crucial, so important for you to get educated as much as you can because it definitely is hard finding a tax professional that has your best interest at heart. And while these online platforms, these online software say that they'll find you the best tax reduction, literally, how can you compare? You're not gonna file your taxes with like two separate companies and be like, ooh, I see that this didn't find me the most cost savings even though they say it's guaranteed, you know? And so it's just, it's guaranteed if you don't find any other loopholes, you know? And so definitely it's really important to really look at this and analyze this before you decide to go with any taxware software platform. And so in addition to having tax education courses, Liberty Tax also has both online and on-site filing opportunities. And so just like H&R Block, they do have branches. And so physical branches can be really, really important, especially when you get lost filing your taxes if you're trying to do it on your own. And so definitely I want to mention these tax softwares to you, but towards the end of this video, I am going to go into what I personally am going to do. And I don't have too complicated of a situation within my small business itself, but overall my personal taxes is very complicated. And so because of that, I'm going to go down a different route. Best for small businesses, we have efile.com. And so they say it's the best for small businesses because approachable personal website and expensive upfront pricing. I'm not sure if I talked about Liberty Taxes pricing earlier, so I can talk about Liberty Taxes costs as well as e-file costs right now. And so for Liberty Tax, $89.95 for federal and $34.95 per state. And again, best for beginners. And as you see, like the prices decrease as I'm going down along the line. And so what's really important to know is that the cheaper these tax software services are, the less likely they're going to help you if there is a like difficult situation, you know? So if your taxes is very complex, then you're kind of going to have to pay more money for it, you know? And so I know it's really nice to really not have to pay so much to file your taxes, but really, like, if you're running a small business, who you file with is very, very important, and if they file incorrectly, you're in serious trouble, you know, and, like, you might get audited. Definitely, I feel like a lot of tax software and a lot of uh, tax professionals want to downplay how many people get audited, but there are there are people who get audited and you definitely don't want to be that person and you definitely want to make sure that you're going to have an audit representative if that were to happen to you. And so that's definitely a concern. And especially having a small business, there are definitely people within the government that do go after small businesses who don't do the proper filing that's necessary. And so that is, that is definitely a concern. So I just want to make you aware of that. And then for efile.com, 
$34.95 to $49.95 for federal and $28.95 for unlimited state returns. And so if your small business is located in multiple different states, then definitely e-file is one to consider because it's just one flat fee, $28.95 for unlimited state returns. So definitely like those state returns can definitely add up as you see each one, Liberty Tax, H&R Block, and TurboTax have a fee per state. And if you're in a lot of states, then that can definitely add up. But again, it depends on what you're looking for, right? So e-file, although the prices are cheaper, they're going to have a lot less to support you, you know? And so a lot of these do have live experts or chat experts, but again, that costs additional money. And even, like I told you, I was on the phone with TurboTax and they literally said that like they thought they couldn't help me even with the live expert. Like literally they say they, they have a CPA there to help you. And so while they help you to make sure you're not doing anything wrong, do they help you to find cost savings, find the best tax credits and the tax deductions? I'm not quite sure and I didn't gauge that from having an actual conversation with them. And so that's why outside tax professionals kind of plays a part when trying to file taxes for your small business. And then we have best budget option. We have Free Tax USA. And so it's free to file your federal taxes and then state filing is only $14.99 per state. If you don't have very much income coming in, then you definitely don't want to spend additional money on your taxes if you don't have it, you know? And so if it's very straightforward and a clear cut type of business, then you do have options available to you. So Free Tax USA is zero for federal and $14.99 for state. It's the best budget friendly option. And so I definitely wanted to also include a free option. So definitely I know that filing taxes can be complicated, can be hard, and you already probably paid so much for your business to even get it started if you are a new business and you're like, I gotta pay all of this money for taxes. Why? Oh, why? <laughs> this is so complicated. And so yes, of course, it makes sense. It's stressful. But yes, a free option is Credit Karma Tax. And so they do help you file if you're self-employed, if you do have a business as well. But it's very straightforward. So like if you don't have a complicated situation, then yeah, go with Credit Karma Tax. But again, there's not going to be additional support. There's not going to be as much Q&A. There's not going to be as much holding your hand and walking you through the tax process if you file with Credit Karma because, again, it's free, you know? If it's free, there's less people, there's less services that you can have, but zero federal and zero for state, and it's the best free option. So overall, in this video, we've gone over the best overall, the best for complex businesses, the best for beginners, the best for small businesses, the best budget option, and the best free option. So I really think we've covered a lot, and definitely this is, like, high level with, like, the cost and with the best overall. If you really want me to go into the nitty-gritty, the different packages that they offer. By the way, all of these are premium packages. If you are self-employed or if you have a small business, you are paying the most to get your taxes filed. <laughs> Say goodbye to the W-2 <laughs> um, because that life is over. And that's taken me the biggest kind of transition is realizing that like my 2019 taxes with just a W-2, for one, I could have got that filed for free. And then secondly, like that was so easy, you know, and now that 2020 has happened, I'm definitely started with wealth generating assets and it's just, it's more complex. It's harder that way. And so because of that, I've decided to not go with any online tax software platforms. And really, I am looking for a tax professional to do my taxes. And so really, I'm going to do a video on this, but definitely going to hop into that in this next clip where I'm going to go to, I'm going to touch on it a little bit, but I will give a video that will go more into depth of what I'm looking for and the best tax advice I got because of my small business. Okay. After talking about these tax software platforms, I definitely want to say as a small business owner, it's really important to make sure your taxes is done right and it's with someone you can trust. I definitely think that if you have more experience, you really know the ins and outs of taxes, then having a tax software platform, which will kind of provide you guidance, will be good. But I realized just for me, with my level of knowledge about taxes, I was just like, I really need a tax professional, whether that's an enrolled agent, whether that's a CPA, whether that's a tax preparer, which those are really important distinctions that you need to know and that I will go into in my next video but yes like I realized that I needed a tax professional to really just handle my taxes because I just I didn't know what I needed to know and so 
as it relates to small businesses, as it relates to your personal taxes, like it's really, really important again for that to be filed correctly and for you to be empowered and know that you will be protected if you were to get audited. And so I'm definitely, I'm going to go into that in my following videos about just kind of finding a tax professional on your own because it can definitely be hard to find the best person to do your taxes because not everybody is going to have your best interests at heart and a lot of people who say oh i'm going to find you the best tax savings i'm going to find all of these loopholes some of them are legal but also some of them might not be as legal and so it's really important that you have someone that can find you tax credits or tax deductions but also do it the legal way Yes, the legality is crucial <laughs> and very, very important. And so definitely, if you're not as experienced and if you don't know as much, then definitely somebody can pull the wool over your eyes and then you can be in a bad spot. Definitely don't want you to, that to happen to you. And yeah, this was kind of the video breaking down different tax softwares for small businesses, going over the top ranking ones and kind of going into the cost as well for being self-employed. And so that's how they break it down. Please let me know in the comments if you would like me to go in depth on any of those tax software platforms or anything like that, or what else what other content you would like to see from me. I am so excited again to have you here with me today and please stay tuned, watch my other videos. Peace, stay building.